Hello again, and welcome to another Quick Clips. Uh, my name is Matthew Docksetter, and I'm an applications engineer uh, specializing in our material removal tools here at ATI Industrial Automation. Our material removal team has really been pumping out a lot of new product. Today, we're gonna be focusing on the RCE710. Uh, that's a radiate compliant electric tool. So what we're gonna focus on is what is the RCE? How does the RCE work? What are some unique features about the RCE, uh, as well as some design specs and some target applications for this tool. So what is the RCE 710? Uh, the RCE is our radially compliant electric tool. It has the standard 360 degree compliance. This tool also comes with the quick turn single axis lockout feature, which changes from that 360 degree turn to a more pendulum style uh, 180 degree compliance. This electric motor is settable from zero to 13,000 RPM. A highlight about the RCE is that it is an electric tool that uses an air cooling system. This air cooling allows us to keep the design small, compact, and more lightweight. So why do we create an electric tool? Because customers were asking for it. Uh, the RCE with its electric motor has a settable speed range between zero and 13,000 RPM. With an electric motor, you get a more continuous torque uh, at any of those speeds. Uh, another benefit of an electric motor is that's inherently quieter than a pneumatic tool. This is important when you have your robotic cell working next to people. One big benefit of an electric tool is this electric motor doesn't have to worry about its distance from the power source. Uh, the electric motor plugs straight into 120 volt and that is gonna be the same anywhere in your plant. What are some unique features about the RCE710? The variable speed, the controllable speed that I've been talking about uh, is really a highlight of this tool. By being able to control the speed, you can optimally set this tool for different types of media, both in their use and wear. A flap wheel, a carbide burr, and a brush are a few types that can be used on these tools, and they all work optimally at different speeds. A built-in feature to this tool as well is some increased process verification with speed sensing. When you're programming or later when you want to review data, you can even feed that out and capture that information, but you can make sure that the speed that you've set the tool to is what you're actually operating at. The RCE710 requires a controller to operate. ATI has designed and will be selling this tool in a kit that includes the RCE, a controller, as well as the power and signal cables that connect the two. With the controller provided in the kit, you can set all of the variables and parameters of the motor directly from the controller box, or you can control them remotely through an M8 connection on the box. Uh, for more information on the RCE, and other ATI tools, uh, you can go to our website and we look forward to hearing from you.